to simplify these square roots, um, what we need to do is take a look at what the number inside the root is, first of all. Note that in all three of these cases, the number inside the root is not a perfect square. Um, 8 would be uh, something less than 3 times 3. 48 would be something more than uh, 7, or something a little less than 7 times 7, which is 49. And 75 would be, what, 8 times 8 is 64, or 9 times 9 is 81, somewhere in between those two. So what we're going to do, instead of just estimating what the uh, digital, the, uh, yeah, what the decimal value would be, <laughs> wrong D word, what the decimal value would be, we're going to simplify these roots by rewriting the numbers inside using their factors. 8 is the same as 4 times 2. 2, we still don't know the root for, it's not even, but 4 we do know the root for. So we can pull 4 out of the root, and we can say the square root of 4 is 2. That gives us a 2 outside the root and a 2 inside the root. We can do the same thing here. 48 is 6 times 8, and 6 is 2 times 3, and 8 is 4 times 2. So here we have another 4, and it can go out. And here we have 2 times 2, so that's the same as 2 squared. And when you take the square root of a square, they cancel each other out, so we get another 2 outside. So now we have just the 3 inside, and we have two 2's outside. So 4 roots of 3 is the simplified version. And then here, for C, we have 25 times 3. 25 is a perfect square, so we can pull it out. 5 goes outside, we have a 3 left inside. So this third one is the same as 5 roots of 3. Simplifying the multiplication and division of square roots is actually uh, much, much simpler when you understand the rules for it. Uh, really, the rule is that if you are multiplying or dividing two things under, under separate roots, you can put them under the same root to actually carry out the multiplication or division. So for this first example here, we have root 8 times root 2. That would be the same as the root of 8 times 2, which would be the root of 16, which we know is... 4, because 4 is a perfect square. So that's pretty easy. The second one here, we have 3 roots of 4 times 4 roots of 3. This can be read as 3 times root 4 times 4 times root 3. So now we can use our uh, commutative law and move things around a little bit. So we have 3 times 4 times root 4 times root 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times the root of 4, which is 2, times the root of 3. 12 times 2 is 24, so that gives us 24 roots of 3. For C, we have root 12 over root 3, so that's the root of 12 over 3. 12 over 3 is 4, so we have root of 4. Root 4 we know, that's an even number 2. 2 is a perfect square. And then the last one, we have 12 over 6 times root 10 over root 5. 12 over 6 is 2. Root 10 over root 5 could be root of 10 over 5. So that would be the root of 2. So that gives us 2 roots of 2.